Okay, question number four, part F. Um, further analysis of the data revealed that 18 out of the 25 adults in the 0 uh, to 15 group took no exercise each day. State giving a reason with what effect, if any, this new information would have on your answers to the estimate of the median in part B, the estimate of the mean in part C, and the estimate of the standard deviation in part D. Okay, so now, what we can see here um, in this question is that 18 out of these 25 have got a time of zero. So these, out of these 25, seven of them are left with a time between zero and 15, which we estimate as 7.5, but 18 out of them have a time of zero now. Okay, so basically what's gonna happen here for the median, what happens with the median? Now the median is the middle position. Okay, now these times, these um, 18 zeros before we took them as 7.5, well, they were below the median before the change in information. And remember, the median is somewhere in between 30 to 60 in this question. It was 30, I can't remember what it was, 30 something. Okay, so the times before the change, the, those 18 numbers were below the median, and they're still below the median. So it won't have any effect on the median whatsoever. So there'll be no change on the median whatsoever. So the median will remain unchanged. So you can say that the median, okay, is the same. What's the reason it's the same? Because um, the 18 zeros, okay, or you can say the changes, okay, the 18 entries, were below the median or less than the median before and after the change in our information. Okay? All right. Part two, the mean. What happens to the mean? Okay, now, what is the mean again? If you remember, it's the sum of all the entries divided by the sum of all the number of people in the survey. So there's still 100 people in the survey because there's, these 18 people are still being surveyed. It's just that their times were zero. So what's going to change is the sum of the times. The sum of the times is now going to get less because you've got, instead of 18 times the midpoint 7.5, you're going to have 18 times zero and then 7 times 7.5. Okay, so not all of before it was 18 it was 25 times 7.5 all right but 18 of those times are now zero so that's 18 times zero and plus seven times 7.5 so of course that's going to reduce the sum of the total times okay but the number of people in the survey is still the same it doesn't mean these 18 people are out of the survey they're still being asked and they gave the answer of zero now so we can say that the mean is going to be reduced the mean is going to be less and the reason being is because we can say the sum of the times will be reduced, okay, and the number of people, the frequency, will be the same, okay, so therefore the mean is going to be less, as we just stated, whoops, not the man, the mean, okay, so the mean the mean is going to be less. Okay, and part three is telling us about, asking us about the standard deviation. Now, the standard deviation, okay, is the measure of how far each entry or each data entry is away from the mean value. Okay, so before we took all of these 25 values as being 7.5, and 7.5 take away the mean, Okay, we'll tell you its distance from the mean and then that squared or whatever. But basically, um, now 18 of those values are going to be zero. So their distance from the mean is going to be greater because, you know, the mean was somewhere, um, you know, up here somewhere. Okay, we got the mean 30 point something, if you remember correctly. Okay, it doesn't really matter. We don't have to know the value. But basically, 7 minus that is not as uh, big a magnitude as 0 minus that. Okay, so the... The, the basically the spread of the data is going to increase okay so 
you can say that the uh, the 18 uh, values the 18 values which have changed the 18 values are now further from the mean let me just and now further from the mean value okay therefore the spread of data has increased okay so we can say therefore the standard deviation is going to increase okay so our median doesn't change our mean gets less and our standard deviation increases